My name is Kendall Scott and I'm the manager for the Employee Relations Advice Centre here at CCI. The ERAC team take around 33,000 calls each year on employee relations matters and provide advice and support to our members. Workplace bullying um, is something that has um, been covered by legislation for some time um, and the definitions vary depending on what legislation you look at. The Occupational Health and Safety Act, which is a WA State Act, has covered off by default under the duty of care provisions uh, workplace bullying f since about 2011. And uh, the general duty of care provisions require that businesses provide safe working systems for their staff and take all reasonable steps to ensure that they're not placing staff at risk of um, health and safety issues. Um, by default also uh, employees need to operate in a safe manner, not placing others at risk in the workplace. So it's very broadly covered under that um, part of the law. But following on from um, a number of quite serious uh, workplace bullying uh, incidents over in the eastern states in the last few years, um, introduced into the Fair Work Act uh, in the last couple of years have been uh, provisions specifically dealing with workplace bullying. Um, under the Fair Work Act, workplace bullying is specifically defined as um, repeated unreasonable behaviour directed at an individual or group of individuals that poses a risk to health and safety in the workplace. And those two elements must be at play for it to be deemed workplace bullying under the Act. So it has to be repeated and unreasonable and it has to pose that risk to health and safety. Workplace bullying can um, man manifest itself in a, a range of different behaviours. So um, it can be quite uh, covert, so uh, very subtle, um, and uh, it can be between colleagues, it can be um, a manager to an employee or an employee to a manager. Um, it can be um, as simple as overloading somebody with too much work or setting KPIs that are unrealistic and um, non-attainable. Uh, it could be um, belittling someone in front of others or um, not including them so in social events, so social isolation. Um, or it can be a lot more obvious, so it can be um, playing practical jokes on somebody or using very aggressive manner and tone when you're dealing with somebody um, or yelling at somebody, for example. The Fair Work Act uh, covers not just employers and employees when it comes to workplace bullying and um, being able to access remedies um, for that. Um, it defines um, people as workers uh, as being covered and worker uh, includes uh, apprentices and trainees, it can include subcontractors uh, working in your, at your premises. Uh, it might also include um, vacation students or interns as well, so it's, it's much broader than just simply the employment relationship. So um, if the person who is being bullied or believes they are being bullied, um, is comfortable raising their concerns with their manager or someone internally um, that's in a position of authority to deal with that matter, then um, they can absolutely do that. But it's also open to um, a worker to put a complaint into um, WorkSafe, for example, or they can go directly to the Fair Work Commission and put an application in to um, have the matter dealt with. Uh, in the case of Fair Work Commission, they are required uh, to deal with workplace bullying issues within 14 days of receiving an application. Uh, and then from there, they will usually hold a conciliation conference to get the parties in and um, to inform themselves. And then from there, they'll make a decision and generally will uh, issue an order uh, requiring people to involve to either uh, start doing things or stop doing things. So, for example, in some recent cases, uh, we've seen the outcomes being that the business needs to implement training um, for um, certain staff, uh, managers and uh, employees for example um, so that everyone understands broadly what workplace bullying is uh, or to implement policies um, around workplace bullying. Um, in the case uh, where it's been found that an individual has been bullying another individual at the workplace, um, orders might include preventing them from working together um, or um, uh, requiring that person to stop the bullying behaviour.
Where, where Fair Work Commission issues a stop, uh, stop bullying order, if the order is not followed, then there is potential for the parties to incur significant fines. Um, could be up to 54000 for a body corporate or it could be up to 10800 for an individual. Um, however, in workplace bullying cases, in the first instance, the Commission doesn't have the ability to issue fines. The Fair Work Act uh, does explicitly make clear that reasonable management action is not workplace bullying. So, um, and that is provided that it's carried out in a reasonable manner. So reasonable management action would be day-to-day um, -day action that management might take. For example, performance managing a poor performer. Uh, it could be uh, undertaking performance reviews. It might be um, approving leave, uh, for example, um, or providing coaching and mentoring sessions to staff. Um, but the key is that that, that action is taken out um, in a reasonable manner. Some of the common myths about workplace bullying um, uh, generally include uh, people believing that it's simply a clash of personalities between two individuals or um, perhaps that the person that believes that they're being bullied um, is just oversensitive, for example. However, if a complaint is made to the Fair Work Commission, um, for example, then they won't be concerned with those um, those streams of thought, they will simply be concerned um, about whether the behaviour is unreasonable um, and that's an objective test so they would consider what a reasonable person would find um, to be unreasonable, whether it's repeated and whether it poses that risk to health and safety and if those elements are at play, um, though generally the finding will be that workplace bullying has occurred. There's a number of things that businesses can do to protect themselves uh, when it comes to workplace bullying. First and foremost, it's critical to have a robust workplace bullying policy or a, a code of conduct and to educate staff on that uh, policy. Um, provided staff are aware of what workplace bullying looks like and their obligations, um, then um, if it occurs, the business is well placed to then deal with those matters. Members of CCI can also uh, contact the Employee Relations Advice Centre. Now, a team of um, employee relations experts can provide guidance um, uh, when it comes to workplace bullying, uh, particularly if a business has received a, a complaint in-house and is wanting to, to deal with that and manage that complaint. We can guide you through the steps that you need to take to, um, to resolve that issue.